Right now, look at this. In the last few weeks, this has come up. You sit real still, don't move. You are the first church group ever to see as a group what you're getting ready to see. They now have on the internet, on YouTube, what is called the Blasphemy Challenge. It's put out by a group called the National Rational Response Club. And what they're saying is, anybody who believes in God is crazy, and there's people actually, listen to me, you see, we quit that cussing and drinking and, and all kind and fornication, all that kind of sin a long time ago. Now they say, what's the worst sin we can commit? And they found it in the Bible where Jesus said, if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost, you never have forgiveness. And now they're issuing a blasphemy challenge and having hundreds and thousands of people making their own video blaspheming the Holy Ghost. For me, challenge, I deny the existence of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I am no longer afraid. Watch this. This is on the internet. One or two. 2007, posted on YouTube. I deny. I deny. Definitely deny the existence. Deny the existence? The existence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. It's Holy Spirit. So, see in hell. There are more than... The girl said, see in hell. We deny the Holy Spirit. I, I think how sad. This book is by Richard Dawkins, The God Delusion, where he said Jesus Christ never even existed. Jesus. There's even an atheist lobby in Washington. And are you funny in your opinion? Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, in that sense. How long will this challenge go on? Until the end of Christianity. Do you have a Did you hear what he said? How long is the challenge going to go on? He said, till the end of Christianity. Let me tell you something, people. That's not an accident. Are you listening? Why didn't he say to the end of Islam? Why didn't he say to the end of Buddhism? They only have one target. That's Christianity. Jesus Christ. You know why that is? Because the devil that's in them knows which one is the real God and which one's the real Savior. I'm telling you, they wasn't no, they wasn't no such thing as this six months ago, people. There wasn't no such thing as that last year's youth rally. What's this? What's some life about going to hell? What's this? <laughs> no. We we years, maybe. <laughs> Do you worry about going to hell? No. No, not at all. No. Is that because you think hell's going to be fun if you do go there? <laughs> no, because hell doesn't no, exist. Hell, there's no reason to believe that hell exists. You know, there's a one. What a fool. What a fool. That poor little old punk don't know there's a hell. He don't know there's not one. Here's where it tells you, Jesus forgive you anything except blaspheming the Holy Spirit. It's a one road trip you're taking here. You have one shot for the blasphemous video. Follow these instructions. Go to YouTube. Put your video on and they'll send you a free video for blaspheming the Holy Ghost and damning your soul. such thing as that five, six months ago, folks. That's just in the last few weeks. Christian. To basic observation of the world around me and logical thinking, I've come to the conclusion that alongside the fact that there is no Santa Claus and there is no Easter money, there is also no God. So without further ado, my name's Chandler and I deny the existence of the Holy Spirit. Ain't that something? Watch it. All these are real people that put their video on the internet. Depends What's it? From the Stone Age, shoot your video and upload it to YouTube, and we'll send you a free copy of the hit documentary, The God Who Wasn't There, on DVD. Here's your price, your soul, $24.95. Watch this tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You don't think it's this bad? Listen to them tonight as they blaspheme the very God that gave them life, the Jesus who died on the cross. I just want to say that I deny the Holy Spirit, God, Jesus, Zeus, whatever else you can come up with. And so, see you in hell. What about that? Watch this. One year ago today, 
I came out as a gay man to my friends and family. They received me and loved me for who I am because I am proud, happy, successful, and academic. However, in all my life, there has always been one group of people who have denied and hated myself and people of my community. That group is organized religion, who have taught and will continue to preach hate against different but good people. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, I have and will continue to deny the Holy Spirit. Because there is nothing holy or spiritual about teaching and condoning hate. Thank you. Listen to this boy. When I was growing up, I used to go to Carmen concerts, and I would learn that witches were of Satan. I listened to the Bible on tape, and I learned that atheists did no good. I learned from my rainbow Bible that gays were an abomination. Well, I'm an atheist, I'm gay, and I've got a pack of tarot cards. I deny the existence of the Holy Spirit. You see what's happened, folks, is these kids don't know no better. They're so ignorant. They've been raised in a generation that don't know God, and they've been taught that, and the spirit of the devil grabs a hold of them. You kids, when we showed these characters out here a while ago, all that rap music and rock music and all the spirit of this age, you think it's funny and you think it's a joke, but there's where it ends. It ends with your soul in hell begging for a drop of water on your tongue. It, be, it, it ends with people. Listen to this boy right here. As now the Lord. Well, I don't believe it. So with my hand in the Bible, I'm telling you, there is no Holy Spirit. There never was one. It's pitiful. Isn't, right. it? isn't that sad? The poor kid. If he'd have been to a good Bible-believing church. And I'm sorry. My name is Jacob Allen. My name is Ben Johnson, and I deny the irrational and illogical belief of it. Denouncing souls. How sad. That breaks my heart. You think about it tonight. Watch this. This poor guy's reading the Bible trying to act like a preacher. I guess the daughters of men and the sons of women are just kind of Man of God. Of whatever blasphemes they may utter, but he who blasphemes against. Watch him tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, they don't even know nobody. The United States Coast Free Thought Association denied the existence of the Holy Spirit and attributed all the men's to natural causes. We attribute all events to natural causes. That's what Charles Darwin taught. Look at these twins. Now, we could give you many reasons for why we don't believe in God. Isn't that sad? Now, they don't even understand. Jesus didn't say deny him. He said blaspheme him. They don't even understand what the unforgivable sin is. And God have mercy on people. And God is good. And God will help you. But I'm telling you, look at this girl. My name is Marley Wyndham Herman. I'm 13 years old. And I'm more than an atheist. I think I'm more of an anti-God. Anti-God, 13 years old. Look at this. Not only do I deny the existence of the Holy Spirit and God and Christ and all those other fairy tales. Look at his shirt. Crusade against Christ with Jesus X'd out on the front. Not Buddha, not Muhammad, Jesus. If I was you here tonight and I wasn't right with God, I would not wait one more second. The clock is ticking as fast as lightning flash from the sky. We could be gone out of this building. He's coming at any moment. The signs of his coming. Let's move on just a little further. I'm on a crusade against Christ, and I'm trying to end 2,000 years of stupidity. So if you want the sh You can get the shirt or the bumper sticker by contacting him. Ending 2,000 years of stupidity. Not Islam, not Buddhism, not any other religion, only Christianity. I know the Bible's true tonight. I know there's a God, and I know it for a bunch of reasons. But one way I know it's true, that's the one they're always fighting. Glory to God, I'm glad I'm saved tonight. I'm glad when I was 18 years old, the Lord saved my soul. He answered my mama's prayers. And I'm going to heaven tonight, safe under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Watch it tonight. Or the sticker, email me through YouTube or go to crusadeagainstchrist.org and together, let's fight Christianity. Ain't that something? Let's fight Christianity. Not only do I deny the existence of the Holy Spirit and God and Christ and all those other fairy tales, but I'm on a crusade against Christ. My name is Kelly Schiller, and I have never been a part of any denomination, nor have I ever believed in Jesus Christ, the Savior. And, and that's sad. I want to let everyone know that I, Kelly Schiller, deny the existence of the Holy, the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to burn it all like the rest of y'all. Isn't that sad? They think it's a joke! They think it's something to laugh about! They think hell's a joke! Let me tell you tonight, kids, hell is no joke. Hell is an awful, awful place. It's a terrible place. You don't want to go. You'd have been better off never to have been born than to die in your sin and go to hell. If you're not saved here tonight, you'd have wished to God you'd have never breathed there if you die and go to hell. Watch it tonight. The existence of the... Holy, the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to burn it all like the rest of y'all. Isn't that sad? Now watch this tonight. We're talking about tonight the signs of His coming. Secondly, the sounds of His coming. The Bible said that in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the trump, the Bible said the voice of the archangel, or the voice of the Lord, and of the archangel shall sound. There's only one archangel mentioned in the Bible. His name is Michael. A lot of folks say that Gabriel's going to blow the horn, but technically uh, no one's called an archangel but, but Michael. And it doesn't say there's another one, but he's the only one that's named for sure. So we know that Michael is an archangel. Which, whichever one it is, he's going uh, to be the voice of the Lord and the trump of God, and there's going to be the voice and the sound of the archangel. And when that happens, it's going to be a sound that you will hear. If you're saved and the Holy Spirit's in you, you will hear your name. The old song says, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. And that's the truth. We might be, I might be walking down the road, driving in a car. You never know what you might be doing. There'll be a sound. What a meeting that's going to be. Lord have mercy. When, when, the, when, they, when you hear that sound, it's going to be a wonderful thing. When the Bible said, when the Father spoke in the, old, in the New Testament, they said, some, he, Jesus understood them, but them that stood by said what? It thundered. And so when the Lord comes back, more than likely, the world will hear a big sonic boom like that. And it'll be to me and you, it'll be my name. And he'll say, Danny Castle, come up hither. In Revelation chapter 4 and verse 1, and everybody that's saved and gone on before us, their body's going to come up out of the grave. Their soul has done gone home to be with the Lord. He's going to bring their souls with him. Even so, them which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Their soul's coming back to heaven. The body's coming out of the grave. Then we which are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Bless God. That ain't no fairy tale, brother. That's something that's going to take place one of these days. It's going to happen. It'll happen just like he said. Let the skeptics rule. Let them make fun of it. Let them call us crazy all they want to. Thank God Almighty he's coming one of these days to get us out of here. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, what if it was tonight? You know what? The first thing you'd hear if he was going to come tonight, let's just imagine. Imagine, boys and girls, Jesus is coming in 10 seconds. He's coming. Well, I'm walking around here preaching. You're sitting in your seat. I'm just telling you about the, some of y'all sitting there saying, oh, I don't believe that. Some of y'all sitting there saying, oh, no. and all of a sudden, you hear the sound of the trumpet. Lord, have mercy. Woo! He's calling us out of here. And he's coming to the only grave. And the dead in Christ are going to rise first. And the trumpet shall sound. Just like that. And we're going to leave out of here like Superman and go home to be with the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. What about that? Right. What if that was to happen tonight? The sounds of His coming. Wouldn't that be something? Let me say this thirdly. 
the suddenness of his coming quicker than a flash of light you won't have time to bat your eye there's going to be a meeting in the air now there's been some great meetings down through the years i'd love to have been in that meeting that day over there with the children of israel in the in the book uh, in the old testament when they were on the red sea shore and at the foot of mount sinai Think of the meeting, brother, where the thunder and smoke came down from Mount Sinai and Moses came down with the Ten Commandments and the children of Israel got to meet him there. Glory to God. Think about the meeting that they had when Jesus preached the Sermon on the Mount. I'd have loved to have been in that meeting and heard the Lord. I'd have loved to have been on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost came down and the people got filled and 3,000 people got saved. I would have loved to have been in that meeting when Jesus preached there to the multitudes. I'd have loved to have been in the great meetings of days gone by of D.L. Moody and Billy Sunday and Jonathan Edwards when he preached sinners in the hands of an angry God. I've been in some great meetings. I've seen this so foggy in the church house. You had to get a C&I dog to get home. I've seen it so real people fell under the power of God. I'm telling you, I've been in some big meetings. But I'm telling you tonight, there's never been, never going to be a meeting like that meeting we're going to have when the Lord comes and takes us out of here. I hope it'll renew your hope. I hope you'll get excited about it tonight. I hope tonight that everybody in here will be ready for Jesus to come when you walk out that door tonight. It's going to be sudden in the moment, in a twinkling of an eye. What a meeting. What a meeting. The king is coming. I used to like that old song said, the king is coming. The king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounded and now his face I see. Oh, the king is coming. The king is coming. Praise God. He's coming for me. Happy faces line the hallways. Those whose lives have been redeemed. Those from crippled broken ruin. And the Lord brings us all. You think about all these old rednecks uh, down here in the south, brother, that people's made fun of all these years. You think about all these people that uh, jumped around and hollered and shouted and people made fun of for years and years and years. You think about how people's laughed at old grandma's shouting and made fun of old-fashioned preaching. Yeah, I'm talking about church people too. How they think it's so, buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. When this crowd gets up yonder, we're going to have a brand new body. I'll go down the street cutting flips and say, I told you, I told you, I told you. He's a coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming, he's coming. He might come tonight. He might come tonight. We don't know. We don't know. He might come tonight. I wish he would. What if I was just preaching right here tonight and all of a sudden, blow, that trumpet sound and about 85% of the people in this room disappeared. What if tonight you were sitting right in the, in the house and all of a sudden mama was gone and daddy was gone, your brother's gone, your sister's gone. What if you were in the house tonight and your baby was gone? Well, this is the closest anybody's ever been. Watch this little clip, what it'll be like. Here's a man preaching on the second coming to a church. Church, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 42, Watch therefore, for you do not know that the hour of your Lord is coming. I want you to know, church, that Jesus Christ could come this month, or he might come next week, or he could even come... But it'll be too late. Woo! But they'll fall on their knees. They'll pray, but their prayer will be too late. You'll fall on your knees in. You won't make fun of preachers in. You won't make fun of shouting in. You'll say, God, I'm left behind. The suddenness of his coming. The suddenness of his coming. Woo! Just that quick. You think about it tonight. Lord in mercy. They'll pray, but their prayer is too late. You say, preacher, is that really going to happen? Absolutely, 100%. It's going to take place. Here he goes. Now here you get a second chance. When the real one comes, there ain't no second chance. Or he could even come... of his coming. 
the suddenness of his coming. Finally, the sadness of his coming. The sadness of his coming. You see them people kneeling down praying? You see them? Let me show them to you again. You see these people kneeling down? You see these people kneeling down praying? These people have no chance now. They had their opportunity. The Bible said they'll be sent strong delusion. Listen, if you're a teenager or a young person living in Marion, Morganton, Hickory, you've heard preaching all your life. Some of you little brats, you know good and well what's right, and you keep running from God so you can be cool and you want to be hip. You want to be popular, and the Lord's going to come and leave you behind, and you're going to worship the devil and take the mark on your body and go to hell when you die. It ain't no joke. He's coming. He's coming. The sadness of his coming. What will be the happiest day ever for some will be the saddest for many others. Wives will turn over in bed at night and their husbands will be gone. Children will run through the house and little baby brother will be gone out of the crib. Husbands will look for their wife if they like fun. He's drinking beer. She's going to church. And he says, Honey, where are you? Where are you? She's gone. Her wedding band's laying there on the coffee table. Her Bible's laying there open. She's gone. It could happen tonight. It could happen tonight. You listening? The newspapers will print extra editions. Husbands robbed of godly wives. Children taken and those left behind will wring their hands in grief. The tribulation will begin. But let's first of all see what would happen to me and you during that time. Because while all the world's getting ready to worship the devil down here, and we've already seen tonight that's exactly what's happening, me and you are going to be over there with him. And brother, after that judgment seat of Christ, it's all over but the shouting.